Hello and welcome to another Desk Side Talk with Mark. I am obviously Mark, and I don't have a ton to go over today. Just going to be talking about kind of the ins and outs of what I've been up to lately. Uh, a couple of interesting things that have happened, and my thoughts on a couple of things that are going on in the board game universe. But first, talking about some interesting developments for the Thoughtful Gamer. Uh, it's coming soon. I will be writing or rather some of my reviews will be featured on a website called Love Thy Nerd. It is a Christian nerd website with articles and features and reviews and discussions about everything in the nerd universe. They were looking for people to do some board game coverage, so I offered up my reviews. They will all be appearing in some form or another on the Thoughtful Gamer, um, but either just copies or shortened versions of the reviews will also be going up on Love Thy Nerd. They, it's a brand new website. I met one of the guys in charge of developing it last year or earlier this year, I believe, after PAX East, and he was really nice. And uh, now we're working together on getting some reviews up there. So that'll be exciting. I recommend you check that out. I have also finished the book series I've been working through over the past couple of months, the Three Body Problem series or the Remembrance of Earth's Past series, whatever you want to call it. And frankly, it's extraordinary. I just finished the last book. I don't even know which of the books I like best. The scope of the series just keeps expanding out and out and out. And I know in one of the books, the author talks about how science fiction for him, one of the, the amazing things is that it, it lets you explore scale in a way that other genres of literature can't. So you talk, you know, in science fiction, there could be interesting developments on the atomic level or the galactic uh, universe or multiverse level. And this series really highlights that and has some amazing sequences on that front as people are trying to navigate an increasingly big universe. So I won't say more than that. This might be my favorite book series I've ever read. It's really remarkable. I recommend going in blind. Don't read about it ahead of time because there's a lot of really cool, interesting surprises and, and stuff that happens in the first book. And I, I, I just can't say enough good things about it an absolutely extraordinary piece of work and I'm probably going to be rereading it within the next year or two. Like there's just so much more that I can, I, I think that I'll pick up on the second time through the series that was only hinted at or alluded to that I, that I probably didn't understand the first time through now that I'm looking back at everything that's happened in this narrative. It's, it's just astounding for people who like reading, who like fiction, who like sci-fi, everyone. I absolutely recommend these books. Some of the most compelling reading I've, I've read in a very long time. Switching over back to board game stuff, uh, I retired my first Gloomhaven character. As you may know, I absolutely love Gloomhaven. I rate it as my favorite game of all time. Uh, a couple months ago, and I'm still really enjoying playing it through when I'm not trying to get other games played to review them. Uh, Gloomhaven is kind of our game of choice and has been for a very long time. And my character took the longest to retire just by some random elements. That's how it happened. And finally, I'm picking up a new character. So my Ratman, the Mind Thief, was a really fun character to play. Uh, without spoiling anything, I am now, or without spoiling much, I'm now playing a character that is somewhat like a paladin or a cleric a bit. It's tanky and has lots of healing and buffs. So I'm really excited to go from offense to more of a defensive tactical character. I think that'll be really interesting and fun. And uh, I think we're going to try to get some played tonight, hopefully. Or if not tonight, at least this weekend. It's such a cool kind of cycle of progression where you play through an entire character's arc, retire, and then pick up a new character. And it remains compelling throughout. Like Gloomhaven does this kind of thing so really, really well that 
again, I, I still highly recommend it. I think I passed 30 plays of Gloomhaven so far, or I'm approaching it. I'm like 29 or something like that. Still amazing game. I can't wait to play it some more. If you are a fan of this podcast, I think I've mentioned it before, but frankly, the podcast that you should definitely be prioritizing above this one is Ludology. It's still an amazing podcast. I kind of stopped listening to it for a while after one of the hosts, Ryan, kind of uh, stopped doing the podcast after 100 episodes. And I took a break from it, but I was traveling to New Jersey, which was like a six-hour drive each direction for a debate camp I was running and listened to a bunch of the more recent Ludology episodes. And they're still just amazing really, really great insights and interviews. It's really kind of the podcast that I want the thoughtful gamer to become with some differences. I don't want to be exactly like Ludology, but I want that level of depth and knowledge and eloquence when talking about board games that they have. So if you're a fan of the thoughtful gamer and you haven't listened to Ludology, you should go fix that immediately. Finally, in the board game world, I've been kind of, I, I've been feeling a little bit out of the loop lately. I didn't go to Gen Con. I'm not planning on going to Essen. And there's lots of board game stuff going on. There was a big convention season with not only Gen Con, but Origins and other conferences that were going on that, that I didn't go to. Lots of new games were announced and lots of news. And one thing that seemed to be a recurring theme this year was harassment and harassment policies and people getting harassed and violence and horrible behavior on the internet and all kinds of awful things. And frankly, it's starting to really wear on me. As someone who hasn't been the victim of harassment or violence or really any trolling, I've been quite lucky in my year and a half in the board game media sphere, probably because I'm just not important enough by this at this point for people to really care about me to not experience that, but to see it kind of as an observer, it's so disheartening because there's not a whole lot I feel like I can do about it. And it's a really horrible thing. It's, I think, clearly not on the levels as other nerd communities like the video game community, which is just a cesspit of awfulness. But there's so many awesome people in board games and board games are such a great community activity that I would hate to see the community online or at conventions get even worse than it is. I don't know what to do about it, but I feel awful every time I see someone say that they got harassed or that uh, they had to put their Twitter account on private because they're just getting bombarded with horrible messages and, and things like that. It's somewhat a product of just the social media era. It's obviously a product of just being, a, there's a whole bunch of horrible people out there and other than like raising awareness of it, which I think there's plenty of that and of institutional solutions, which I, from what I understand are kind of hit and miss in terms of like really nice, reasonably enforced policies at conventions and such for an individual like me, like, do I just become another voice saying, Hey, it's happening. I don't know what I can do about it other than to recognize that it exists. And that's, that's frustrating. That's a, that's a limited amount of power of something you just kind of want to fix as soon as you see it, because it's, it's awful to see people being horrible to each other like that. I don't know what the solution is. I mean, frankly, there isn't a solution, but we can certainly push the community or nudge the community in, in different ways through our, our words and our actions. I, I just don't know anything of particular potency that I can do about it, but I, that's something I'll, I will certainly be thinking about. That's everything that's pretty much been on my mind in terms of board games. I've got some exciting reviews coming out, Pioneer Days. Uh, I've written and will be posted soon. I'm probably going to try to review Eminent Domain, which is frankly a really weird game that I'm going to have a tough time reviewing, but I want to get that one out soon. Hopefully get my Fog of Love review out, which has been germinating and brewing in my mind for a very, very long time. I think that'll be a weird one, but we'll see. I've got some more games to play and I'm excited to show you guys some of the things I've been working on in the background, but 
that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to check me out at thethoughtfulgamer.com. All kinds of reviews and good stuff there on social media, uh, Twitter and Facebook primarily. Uh, Don't forget to rate and review the podcast. And if you want to listen and watch our main podcast being recorded live and jump in and be part of our awesome community on Discord, go to patreon.com slash thethoughtfulgamer and pitch in just a little bit of money each month and... Uh, You can help us out, help us stay afloat, improve our equipment and such, and be closer in the community and get all kinds of cool little perks like being qualified for a quarterly giveaway. Thanks for listening, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.